And good afternoon YouTube. Just wanted to show you here, I guess this is the maximum regenerative discharge current, 7 amps. And I'm running that on a single 1S pack. So that's working. I'm up about 38 and a half C on the temperature. The fan isn't running though, so that's pretty promising. So you've got about 27, 28 watts coming through here. It's, it's warm to the touch. Well, it's been running over an hour, so that's that should be about the uh, maximum temperature. Is your end voltage timer temperature? Yeah, 38 internal. The cells are only at 20 C, and we're doing uh, 1.4 amps going back into the main battery pack and bringing that voltage up. That's the limit. You hit seven and then it wraps around to 0.1. Seven amps discharge and you can do 10 amps charging. So that's the two limits. It seems like at 10 amps the charging causes the fan to turn on. I've not tried a seven amp charge, but uh, in fact, let's try to do that here. Do a stop. Let's go around here. What I'm doing is this is a my pack number nine, which I haven't tested as a whole unit yet. Most of these cells were up around four volts. So what I want to do is pull out some of the charge and then charge them back as a group to four volts and then do a, a three amp and then a five amp discharge. But let's see if we can go over here. So there's charge. I just want to see if the uh, seven amp charge causes the fan to kick on. We'll see. Oh, there, yeah, the fan kicks on at 7. 5 amp, it doesn't kick on. 5 amps or below seems to work just fine. And uh, when I'm outside balance charging these, I'll run it at 10 amps. Because with, uh, with that, I can charge two banks of cells at 10 amps in one day, at least in the winter, because you've only got maybe eight hours of sunlight. So it takes about four hours to bring one pack up, four more hours to bring a second pack. And then on the second day, you can do the third and fourth pack. And then I'll do like a, uh, a balance charge on the 4S pack. So it takes takes a while to do a full charge on on one of these. But yeah, that's uh, that's some testing. Seven amps maximum discharge. I I wasn't quite clear what the uh, what the limits were. So that's good to know. Seven amp uh, discharge. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. If there's any interest, I can maybe do a little more testing on this uh, eye charger. Uh, good afternoon, YouTube. So I'm charging the 4S pack down here, these bottom four groups of cells. And just to show you, I'm charging here through the BMS board. So this is the power connection. And then I go up through there and up to the charger up on the top. So I'm not doing a balance charge. But I wanted to show you one feature that I've noticed with this uh, eye charger that is kind of neat. So I've got it on a 10 amp charge, but you can see it's only doing 5.3. And let me show you here. You can see the input voltage. This is off my solar battery bank. Uh, we're pulling about seven amps in on the uh, input there, but the um, solar batteries are down to about 12 volts. We're not getting a lot of sun today. It's pretty much overcast, but I was trying to get as much uh, charge back in here as I can. It'll actually throttle back on the input power to stay above the low voltage cutoff. So if it were trying to pull 10 amps, it would probably drop this below 12 volts. But what it's doing is just pulling as much current as it can, yet staying above the, the cutoff voltage there. So I thought that was kind of neat. Earlier it was about 5 amps, now it's up to 7. And this is still set for my uh, 4S LiPo pack. So I have it set to cut off below 12 volts. So I'm just trying to 
get as much charge into the battery pack as I can because down here this uh, number four pack was starting to uh, crash out again it was down below three volts the other guys were about 3.6 so I thought I'd just give everything a charge and bring these back up because I have a couple more cycles to do on the packs up here in fact now I'm, I'm doing my pack number nine right there and then I've got pack number 10 to test and then what I'm going to do is use these four packs to power the charger and then I'm going to test these four packs for capacity that's the next step so I have a couple more cycles to do on the uh, upper cells and then I'll start testing these and then I'll be monitoring the voltage tracking of these four so yeah that's the next step but anyway i wanted to show you the this eye charger it uh, actually throttles back on the current when you get near the low voltage cutoff it doesn't just run it into the ground and stop it actually tries to stay above the low voltage so it's almost like a uh, mppt charge controller it it backs off on the current to keep the voltage up. Yeah, pretty neat, uh, neat charger there. So yeah, I just wanted to share one of those little features I discovered. And uh, yeah, that's quite a good charger. So anyway, if you have any questions about that, post up in the comment section below. And I'll try to put a couple of videos on the side here that you might be interested in. And as always, thanks for watching.